Okay, I'm back with another word. So this one I had on um, April 8th, 2023. Um, I saw a vision at 638 of a big blue and green bird that looked like a parrot, either drop something with his talons or grab and then land it on a branch, I believe. Okay, so 638, when I looked it up, it means choke, to choke, to suffocate with water, drown. Um, it also means thrust, to thrust away from. Um, Strong's means to, in the Strong's, it meant to stifle. I was led to the parable about the sower, Matthew chapter 13, verses 3 through 9. So it says, and he spake many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was dry, I mean, and when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered, withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some in hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. So, this is a word of warning. Um for who this word pertains to. Um, basically, you're trying to sow seed among what you think is good ground, but it is actually thorn. That thorn will spring up and choke you. The pear symbolizes mimicking or a mimicking spirit. I was led to Luke chapter six, verse 38, to the scripture about um, giving and sowing. So I'm gonna read that really quick. Luke chapter six, verse 38. Says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Okay. This sowing is done in a mimicking spirit. To mimic is to imitate someone or their actions or words, especially in order to entertain or ridicule. It's not being done from a right spirit and the harvest will be thorns that will eventually spring up and choke you. Whatever that choking is, because I'm speaking as the parable is speaking. Um, the synonyms of mimic is to copy, imitate, mock, make fun of, impersonate. You may think others can't see what you're doing, but God sees it and the harvest will be something you won't like. You cannot gather figs from thorns nor grapes from a bramble bush. It is evil treasure from an evil heart what you're doing. Um, Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 45 is where else I was led. And this is um, about a, knowing a tree by its fruit that it's bearing. So 43 says, For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit, for of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil, for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Um, Ephesians chapter 5 is the next place I was led to. I'm going to read verses 1 through 5. This is about being imitators of Christ. 1 through 5 says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become saints, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know that no whoremonger, un nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. 
Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Okay. So Luke chapter 638 encourages us to sow, but you have to sow into good ground from a good heart, not an evil one. If you expect the harvest to be fruitful, to do so in a mimicking spirit is to sow from an evil heart that will produce thorns, a harvest that you do not want. And so this is a word of warning um, for who this message pertains to, for who the vision pertains to. Um, and you will know that whether it's for you because the Lord, he's probably already warned you. Um, it's just up to you whether you choose to listen. Um, and so, yeah, I pray that, um, you got understanding from this vision, from this word, and that it administers grace into the hearers. Um, and I will be back with another word. Peace and goodbye.